Let's talk about wire to terminal connections. A whole lot of connections that we have to make of wires to devices are going to be terminal connections. As you see here, this is my single pole switch. It has two terminals. They're basically round screws and we need to get a wire attached to that screw. If we have a straight end already, we could put it in there and try to tighten that down, but it's not gonna make a good connection. We actually wanna wrap that wire around that terminal so when we tighten it, it's actually going to wrap tighter. It's gonna make a very solid connection, very permanent connection. So the next step we need to do is to make this hook end on the conductor. So I'll start with my stripped end that I have here already. And I'm going to bend, using my wire cutters, I'm going to bend this end into a hook. So I'll use these tips that I talked about, and I'm basically going to bend it. And then as I have it bent in the direction that I want it to go, I'm then going to squeeze it into more of a hook. There you see it, it's almost ready to go. I don't like that one, we're gonna do it again. The reason is because I have too much length on the back here, so we're gonna start all over again for that one. So we'll clip it clean. I'm going to strip this about five eighths of an inch back. I'm gonna peel the wire off. Now I'm going to start over. I'm going to pinch the ends with my wire stripper tips. I'm going to bend it in the direction that I want it to go. And as it gets there, I'm going to tighten that hook up at the end with the tips as well. So now when I have my switch or my terminal that I'm going to connect this wire to, I want to make sure that I turn that hook in the right direction. We're going to be tightening the screw up in this direction, so we want the hook to point in that clockwise direction. We're then going to put it under the terminal screw, and then we're going to get it to where it's tight on there. There's a stop on this terminal here that I can hold that wire up against. That's going to give me pressure and it's going to hold tension on that wire. I can now tighten up this terminal. You want to make sure that your hook of your wire is tight around that screw. And as you tighten it, it should even become closer and wrap around more. I don't want too much of this bare wire exposed beyond that terminal or beyond the device at all. So make sure that this screw is as tight as you can possibly get it by hand. And you can always check it by testing the wire. That is a good terminal or a wire to terminal connection. So let's do one more from start to finish. I have my conductor here. I need to strip the wire off. This is 14 gauge. So I'm going to put it in the 14 gauge and I'm going to strip off maybe five eighths of an inch of wire. Just so you know, if you're unsure about the length that you should strip off, there is a gauge on the back of most devices that show you how much wire should be stripped off. So as you can see here, there's a little groove in the back of this. It's telling you to strip that much of this wire off. So as you can see, I'm a little long, so I'll take off just the end of this. And that's about where they want me to be. We'll see if this works out. So now I'm going to go ahead and bend the hook on this wire, starting at the very end. I'm bending it, and then as it starts to work its way around, I'm going to come in here and squeeze it together tighter. So there I have my hook bend. Now I can put that on my terminal and hook it around the terminal. And I can use this stop on the back there to hold it in place. And I have pressure on it, so now I'm going to tighten it up. I've turned my hook in the direction of the tightening of the screw, so you should see it pull tighter as you wind down on that terminal screw. When you get done, make sure you check it. I have a nice solid connection there.